You get the dollar is now getting pounded to oversold lows, but lower lows. There's this thing in macro called uh, crashing from oversold. All these things are inversely correlated. These are not perpetual correlations. They are just currently what's happening. So I'd encourage you, again, if you're a new subscriber, to not play the game you think we should be in, the one you politically want to be in. It's the game you're in. Okay, and the game that you're in right now is if you get the dollar right, you can buy commodities in particular and make a ton of money uh, and also buy stocks too. Look at Japan, up 1.3%. It barely had a down day. And, and if you bought more, that's the way you do it. If you just want to buy and hodl, you're not going to make as much money or save as much money, particularly at the turns. Uh, but be careful. A lot of these things, when they turn initially, people are scared to buy. Them. This isn't about your feelings. It's actually about fading them. China, look at China, blast to a new uh, cycle high. A cycle high is uh, for 10 quarters in a row or thereabouts. China was in quad four or quad three. Very bad, we're not long China. The dollar was bullish back then too, don't forget. Uh, one is a function or the inverse of the other. Then we go bearish on the dollar starting in June, uh, and we go bullish on emerging markets, primarily China. That's great. The process is working for the right reasons. 10-year yield this morning, uh, up three basis points now. It's got bullish trade momentum. The machine likes selling treasuries. And this isn't so much about what's happening today. This is confirming our position today. It's what's gonna happen in a month, two months, four months.